Hey, it's Rob here, and today we're going to talk about intent. We've discussed that question, how are you today? We've discussed some of the drivers about how to answer that question, and we've discussed using the score. Now it's time to get intentional, and we're going to talk about this a lot through the 30-day program, because if we accept we have well-being and mental health, if we accept that, we can accept we can influence it. And how do we influence it? by being intentional. So look, I experienced bipolar disorder, which is a mental illness characterized by extremes of mood from deep dark depression through to periods of hypermania. I experienced periods of drive, creativity and strength as well. And it's important we recognize those differences. But the message here is all of us have mental health. One in one of us have mental health. And if the pandemic has shown us anything, that is 100% of us will know what it is like to struggle with our mental well-being. Now, we exist on a continuum from struggling at one end through to thriving at another. And we oscillate on this continuum daily and hourly. Now, this idea then brings with it a sense of empowerment. Because if we accept that we move around on this continuum, like we do with our physical health or our physical fitness, then we can accept, we can influence it. And we do that by being intentional. So what do I mean by that? Well, we've got that gift of self-reflection now. And, and if we can start to build that into our daily routine of asking that question, how are you today? Giving yourself that score out of 10. Then what we can do is we can start to think what is driving that and I can start to tweak it. And I can start to think about, okay, if I need to get more sleep, I'm gonna prioritize sleep. If I haven't got any exercise in the last few days, I'm gonna get out and do some exercise. If I'm feeling disconnected, I'm gonna work on my connections. It's thinking about what of those drivers of form apply to you? And then how can I tweak them to be more intentional about our well-being. And the idea is we move up that continuum more towards the thriving end more often. And look, we're not trying to be a 10 out of 10 all of the time. It's impossible. But what we're trying to do is if we're regularly a six, is become more regularly a seven out of 10, or get to an eight out of 10 more often. And the upshot of that is we will be more productive. We will have more mental power. Okay, so being intentional about our well being can help us thrive more often. Now, I'm out here, it's pretty cold this morning, but it's beautiful. And if you just listen to the sound of the birds for a second as you reflect on that question, how are you today? So let's all take a breath. And let go. Thank you.